Well, everybody, it's the return of Manchester United with the preview against Brentford upcoming. There's a big game on Saturday, 3 o'clock. There's a big return. We've got some players out injured, players returning. We'll be talking tactics, Brentford, and much, much more. So don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Let's talk the game. I mean, it's a big game. Um, obviously, Eric Ten Hag's job is on thin ice. Every game is going to be Ten Hag out, Ten Hag in, depending on how the game goes. I think this Brentford game is very big. Thomas Frank's a very good manager. And as I said, we've got some big games coming up. We've got Brentford, West Ham, Fenerbahce, Cup games coming up, Europa League. Like There's a lot of big games for United and it starts against Brentford. As I said, Ten Hag just looks like he's been given some time to kind of sort out the issues at Manchester United, which ultimately he will try and do. I think it's a big sort of thing to talk about and it's a big game for Ten Hag. I mean, Brentford are a very good team. They're in form, they can score goals. And we've got the players who can do that. Obviously, we're at home. We should have the advantage there. But still, it will be a very, very tough game. Now, let's talk injury team news. Now, Mason Mount, it looks like he's returning back to the squad. Kobe Mainu, looks like he's out for four weeks. That's a huge injury scare for him. I mean, Kobe Mainu's been one of our best players. He has played a lot of football. And it's disappointing that he is injured. There's been nothing confirmed. There's just been kind of rumours. But hopefully, that's, that's not something to like four weeks hopefully be back obviously Masrawi we don't know the information on him I think he's out of this game so there will be a lot of changes to this game for Manchester United as I said Mason Mount returning um Ugarte looks like he could be out injured so as I said injuries have hit Manchester United again over the international break you've had a free players rest um but obviously a lot of injuries coming up Maguire's out as well so we have got a, a very underwhelming squad um and yeah listen there's a big game now Let's talk tactics. As I said, Brentford, they play a very, very, very good system um, under Thomas Frank. They're high-pressing, energetic, can score goals. They've scored goals very, very early on in their games, and that's something United needs to be wary about because if we do concede early, I think it will massively affect the trajectory of the game. United don't really tend to respond to um, conceding goals well, especially very, very early on in the game, and it could make that game very, very tough. So we need to be wary out for the early goals. Brentford, they're very good from set pieces, can create chances on the counter-attack, which United obviously very vulnerable to at times. So yeah, it's not going to be an easy game, but ultimately for me, I think United, hopefully, and I want us to win the game, and it will be right for us to come back from the international break on a positive note to really start the the kind of top four charge, if you want to call it. Um, as I said, they play, I think they play with the two up front, they play with the three back, very important in putting cross into the box, man, in second balls, so that's something United need to be Kind of wary about as well. Um, set pieces, very, very important in this game. Especially um, cutbacks. United midfield have been all over the place with Ducati looking out injured. Do you put Casemiro in there? Do you put Ericsson in there? If we talk about that. But yeah, it's going to be very difficult. Um, now, as I said, tactics United, we haven't really looked good. Our last game against Aston Villa was a 0 0. I think it was a decent game, but our best player was probably Johnny Evans in that game. And that ties everything you need to know. So we have got to be careful. Um, Brentford will try and kind of break us down. Um, and obviously Thomas Franks has put out that quote. I've done that interview saying they're coming to win the game. And ultimately they are. Brentford are not. Brent, the issue is United have a team that's not feared anymore. Brentford are not scared of Manchester United. They feel like they can come there and prove a statement. Obviously their key players in Buemo. Absolutely fantastic. He can score goals. Norgard in midfield. Um, Nathan Collins defensively, like very, very good players who can cause issues for Manchester United. So you have got to be very, very careful. Now let me talk United's team. Now obviously in goal will be an honour. Brentford will create a lot of chances. So obviously you should save them. Now right back, I think it will be Delo at right back. I'll talk about what's going to happen at left back in a moment. But Delo will probably be at right back. Just down to the fact that we don't have anyone else available with Masrari being out. Um, left back, Donny ever um Ten August talked about or being reported about Johnny Evans playing left back. Lindelof can even play a left back, so I think it'll either be one of them. I mean you could see Martinez go out to left back um and play maybe Delit Lindelof at centre back. So there is a lot of things. What would I would go for? I'd put Martinez at left back. I know he hasn't looked comfortable there, but we need a left footed left back and that could be something Ten Hag goes for. And the right I would go to low. And centre backs I'd go for Johnny Evans and Delit. Um I think that's the lit deserves to start Johnny Evans after this wonderful display against um, Aston Villa. Deserves to start as well and, and deserves credit for that. So I put him in there into midfield. Well, Bruno is definitely going to start. I think Ericsson will find his way into the team. Um, would it be Mount? I think it'd be Casemiro. We're hoping Ugarte isn't too injured. We'll have an update in it um, from Ten Hag, I think, tomorrow. 
But yeah, I think it will be that midfield. I think that midfield way to open with Ericsson, Bruno and Casemiro. I think the legs are not in there. It's disappointing that we have Ugarte so I've injured Ten Hag really wanted to sell him in, um, according to reports in, in kind of these few games. So hopefully the injury isn't too serious, but I'm just going off the news what we have so far. So yeah, Casemiro, Ericsson and Bruno. I mean, Ericsson had a great start to the season. I think he scored 11 goals and assists so far. Obviously he hasn't got the legs anymore, but has got the ability. And then up front, who starts Hoyland or Zerkley? That's going to be the big debate. Ten Hag um, reportedly, all of us, most of them saying is report that he wants Hoyland as a starting striker, so maybe he'll start that game. Um, and I think it will be Rashford on the left. Um, and I think he'll go with Ahmad on the right. I think that's the team he'll go with. It's going to be a very, very tough game. But I think that's a very, very strong line by United. We shouldn't be really... We should be going out winning the game, bouncing back after the international break. We need the points. We've had the worst after the season we've ever had um, under Ten Hag there. And it's going to be very, very difficult if we keep continuing to lose. And so we've got, we've got to win games. We've got to be compact. I think we will win. I think Brentford, whereas they are a very, very good team, we definitely can exploit them. We've got our own threats. You look about getting crosses in, putting crosses into the box, second ball, set pieces, free kicks, using the lit threat from a corner. The link-up play, if Zirkzy starts, you've got Rasmus Holland in there as well. Garnacho, Ahmad, you've got players who can come off the bench. Defensively, I'm a bit concerned with the injuries. I'm hoping Maswari's not up for too long. Maguire's out as well, in the midfield as well. I think that is a huge worry because I think Brentford can exploit us there and that is one of our weak points. But listen, I'm, I just want to see United play again. It's been what well, we played. Brent, um, Aston Villa on the 5th or the 6th. So it's been like, we played them on the 6th. So it's been like 10, 11 days. Like so long. But after that, it'd be, it'd be quick every three days. But listen, it's a big game for Ten Hag, Thomas Frank. Maybe could be the future Man United manager, so we'll have to wait and see what happens. But this has been a preview Manchester United versus Brentford, a very, very tough encounter. I think we keep you up to date with the match reaction, five things to expect, and press conference reaction ahead of the game as we return back from the international break. Now, in terms of score predictions, quickly, I'm going to go with the draw. I'm going to go 1 1 draw. Um, I think United, we can score a goal, but with the way that we've been playing of recent goals, I've found it hard to come. Brentford, they're a team who can score goals, um, simple as that, but yeah, let me know your thoughts, I think it'll be a very tight and cage game, Brentford are at risk, but they can also score goals and do have big, big threats, so let me know your thoughts, leave a like, if you're new, comment, subscribe as well, put your score predictions in the comments, what, what do you think will happen, will United win, will we come out defeated, um, and will Ten Hag eventually get the sack, thank you for watching, hope you did enjoy.